Hi, my name is Tom Whitwell. I design Music Thing Modular, and today I'm talking about the Music Thing Modular Workshop Notebook. So this is a notebook that's completely about designing Eurorack modules. When you're designing modules, it's this kind of multidisciplinary thing. You're reading books, you're looking up schematics online, you're prototyping things on a breadboard, and you do a lot during that kind of process. So the place everything kind of ends up is in the notebook. I thought it would be interesting to try and create a notebook that was better for doing what I'm doing. So if we flick through it, you can see it starts off with um, a little instruction for me, but then it starts off with a grid. This grid paper is kind of interesting and different because the dots are the same sort of structure as a normal electron component. So components uh, run on a 2.54 millimeter grid, uh, most components. So this has that size grid on there, um, which means you can put the actual components down, you can sketch from them. It just sort of makes a little bit more sense than whatever kind of random grid you would normally use. Um, so you've got pages of that which you can sketch in, but you're also designing the panel at the same time. So halfway through the book, it stops being the grid and it becomes the different uh, module sizes for Eurorack. So you, they're all in there. You start with small ones. You've got these where you can design bigger things. You've got the tile sizes. So you've got the IntelliGel format and you've got the Pulp Logic format. Then at the back of the book uh, is a section about troubleshooting. So whenever I make something, it is very unusual that it actually works first time. Um, and the way I generally troubleshoot it is you kind of panic, you uh, try weird random things. And then over time, you just get really, really strange ideas about what might be wrong. You look at it and go, maybe all of these resistors I bought are actually the wrong size or they don't work, or whatever it is. So what I've got here is a bit more of a kind of rational structural way of doing um, troubleshooting. So it's just literally a kind of table that you can go through and you run through it. You say, what's wrong? What do I think the problems might be? And I found that just doing this process of sitting down and sensibly going through what you're trying to do and what you're seeing and what tests you need to do uh, is really helpful. It, it makes it a little bit calmer and actually just writing down a piece of paper what you think is wrong what you're expecting to happen and what really happens uh, is for me really helpful when um, you're trying to uh, when you're trying to troubleshoot something and it's one of the reasons why when we do workshops at Thonk when you've got people there to talk to about a, a problem or to, to go through a problem it's usually much easier to solve than when you're sitting there by yourself on the inside and on the outside there's a bunch of just things that I always need to remember. I have them pinned up on the wall uh, in, in corners of the workshop here. I now don't need to do that because I've got it all down here in one place. And that's it. Music thing, workshop, notebook.